Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... <coughs> Hello, family, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And, of course, we're going to be talking about something scandalous. Marvelous. Okay, Candy is in L.A. Carte. And she's playing a um, lesbian type role. And I'm like, girl, how are your kids are going to see you later on down the road? Girl, did you get permission from Riley? Did you get permission from Mama Joyce? Girl! What is your daddy thinking about you? And he's a preacher. Girl, I tell you, these preacher kids, they just be letting everything, ha ha excuse me, hang out. Or what do you call it? Yeah, hang out. Or let out. Ooh, Candy doing too much now. Candy, you doing a little bit too much? We know. We know, we know, we know. You're illuminated now. We know you're pushing on an agenda. But damn, girl. Damn. And some of these comments that they were making on her... I guess her uh, induction of she's promoting lesbianness. Okay, she showed doing her job. She pushing it, push it, and push it would. Push it good, push it real good, <sighs> push it. Yeah, honey, she is pushing that agenda till it can't be pushed no more. I'm just cramming it down our throats and all of that i'm like let love let love be wherever love find itself okay but damn candy damn i mean you and them sex toys when you're trying to bring it out um what do you call it on real housewives of Atlanta. who this past not the one they showed tonight but the, did they even show it tonight because of the holiday i don't think they even showed it tonight i wasn't checking for it anyway but it is what it is. But I was like, oh, let me let y'all listen to a little of what was said in this video of hers. Catering to her uh, lover that's giving her head. Okay, but I'm like, damn, Candy, you the man in that too? Girl, you the man in that. I guess we, start, we should start calling you Moneybags the man. You got to piss that time. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not getting back to that. <sighs> Now, how was that for my first time? Not bad, huh? Oh, you keep doing it like that. We're gonna have to piss that time. Oh, really? Yeah, now get back to <sighs> Now, how was that for my first time? Not bad, huh? Oh, you keep doing it like that. We're gonna have to piss that time. Oh, really? Yeah, now get back to <sighs> I don't know why now she sounded like 50 cent when time. she Not said bad, that. Because huh? oh, I really now think Candy back. like being a lesbian more than she like being a heterosexual woman. I'm just saying, yeah, she I might be a beard. <sighs> They, they might, her and Todd might have a beard situation now, going on. Now, that for my first time? Not bad, huh? Oh, and do anybody like know that? the actress that's that supposed to be giving her head? Because yeah, somebody that. said, and <sighs> Chuck no, Choke No Joke, was now, that, was uh, that she was on wilding bad. out. Oh, you the young lady like that's that. giving yeah, Candy head. That oh, really? Yeah, I'm not getting back to Really? Yeah, I'm not getting back to Now, how was that for my first time? Not bad, huh? Oh, you keep doing it like that. We're going to have to piss that time. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not getting back to 
now. We need to talk about this, fam. We need to talk about this. Should Candy just come on out and be a lesbian? Because I think she enjoying more the women than she doing the men. Or Todd ain't doing it like Block did it. <laughs> I don't know who uh, turned Candy out. I'm, I'm considering it might have been Block, y'all. It might have been Block. But just watching her in this little short scene. Uh, it, like I said, it, she just really seems like she's more at home when she's letting a woman do her. But I was like, okay, why why Candy didn't do the woman? You know what I'm saying? We want to see Candy in action since she's so into these sex toys and these vibrators and these panty jumpers and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, girl, you a real jump off. But go ahead, do you, girl? I, I ain't mad. I ain't mad at you. I don't like it. I don't go that way and. It just is what it is, but like I said, love on who you want to love on. I'm not the judge, jury, or the executioner, okay, of that situation. But I'm like, Candace need to come on out. Then I said, she don't care about Todd, child. She don't care about Todd. Todd can go or come high e either way. He need to toe the line because she don't got two babies out of him, a boy and a girl. And, you know, he's a good father. Uh, we see him more with... Um, Ace, then we see him with Blaze, but that just might be a preference, you know what I'm saying? He might, you know, because he ain't that close, or it don't seem like he was that close with raising uh, Kayla, even though he found out, he say, uh, when he came on the show, giving us a little background, that he didn't know about the baby at first. You know, she kept the baby hidden until she got into, like, middle school or something to that degree, and then they started forming a relationship. I guess he started paying child support, this, that, and the third, but we did see that they don't have a close history because she was more so liking to talk to Candy than Todd because she said she couldn't talk to her dad. And that is understandable and explainable because Todd wasn't in her life. And then I guess when he was finally trying to get in her life, he didn't know how to come at her with her being her age at that time. And then she's having to have to deal with taping on a reality show and the comes and goings with that. I think it was just so much intrusion into her life that she really wasn't prepared for mentally uh, to be on a show such as a reality show as that. And I think he just rushed everything too far too fast for her. But we don't really have any updates on their relationship. He's painting a picture to us that they're cool, they're great, she's enjoying her life, she's enjoying her career choice and, uh, you know, all of that jazz. But I don't know. And then maybe her mom, her biological mom, really don't want her in that limelight. You know what I'm saying? Unless she's ready to jump in it. Because it's pros and it's cons. It's pros and cons. However you go up is however you come back down. You see what I'm saying? However you want that that uh, fame and, and, and fish fishbowl type of living. You're going to have to do some strange things for some change. And some for notoriety and all that kind of stuff. So, and you know, Candace proving, show and proving right here what it is to, that you have to do to pretty much make it in the industry, in the business. And she's definitely come to terms with how she wants to live her life and what she's want to give up and what she want to sacrifice and just that in the third. Okay? But I was like, okay, Candace, you know, we get enough of, uh, we, we know we have an inclusion now. Barack Obama signed a lot of stuff in place to help make uh, same sex individuals, couples, you know, whatever, uh, have the same rights as everybody else. You know what I'm saying? We still ain't got our three acres and a, m a mule, you know, from the slavery situation, but we probably ain't gonna ever get it. <laughs> okay? We probably ain't gonna ever get it, you know? But it just is what it is. Everybody got their rights now, and, and, and they have to live life the way they want to live, and only God can judge. <laughs> Our comings and goings and our behaviors and, and all that stuff. But I'm like, God, dog. Now, if that was my mom, if just say if I was just, you know, Riley, you know, just me playing Riley and stuff, oh, I think I would feel some kind of way. Because, you know, it's like grown ups, when they do certain career choices, they make certain career choices, they don't really think about the impact it's going to uh, have on the children as they grow up and they be around other children that parents are famous for whatever, you know, whether it's through acting, uh, 
entertainment play, uh we call it broadway uh, you know there might be you know into the uh, dancing with the um a island was ivy allen you know company you know this is like you you your parents are into a lot of things that you may not be ready for but it's brought to your front door when they're out here creating this type of environment which candy is doing because Rod just want to be live her life you know what i'm saying but by no you know by default that's her mother her well-known mother kids can be cruel even young adults can be cruel you know they ask you some of the stupidest questions and they try to embarrass you and see how you're going to you know uh get through how you're going to navigate and respond back like i said rod is a very 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 intelligent young woman if she could shut andy coin down to where he can't answer another question after the question she just put him in check for uh i believe she's gonna be fine but i think it can be a little daunting for her to keep defending her parents or her mom when it comes to certain issues when she's flaunting her sexuality out there because of course they're gonna be having that speculation are you gonna be that way Ryder? or what what is your sexual orientation do you you know it's gonna they're gonna be asking questions about her mama which she shouldn't have to deal with but can put herself in that position and say you know i'm gonna be a sex uh toy expert i'm gonna have all the the toys the the outerwear uh, you can to have a very sexual prolific experience with whoever you get down with whether it be the same sex or a uh, heterosexual type relationship but like i said you know hey if you're gonna do that candy you might well be able to invite a man on in there too because he's tired getting the best of both worlds he get to fondle and, and be with and fuck you know another lady that you're actually partaking in with us also but you ain't got another man but like i said i, I think you just you, you you got what you wanted when it came to talk because you might be in a contractual agreement too like give me two babies i'll support you in this that and the third but you know which way i go you know which way i love and that's being with a woman and then like i said ain't got nothing wrong with that you know if that's what you need to do but i'm thinking about the kids that are involved sometimes i wish people that were sex addicts or sex you know they just love the ideal of sexing and 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 you know every walks of life and they want to make the the apparels and all that gear i understand that but then the people i wish didn't have children because the children have to sit there and and look at what they mama really do for a living you know say other than being on a ratchet tv show she likes to talk about i mean like she might have been a doctor going to be a sex expert you know what i'm saying and but then that's still she got time to do that if she you know want to but she's just so out there it just makes me want to wonder how do her kids or how Riley really feel about her doing this or how Kayla really feel about it. So, uh, and God knows, I don't know what Ace going to think about his mom when he gets to a certain age and he's seeing her or being able to pull up social media uh, type of uh, archives things that have been on the social media world or out there on the internet because this stuff ain't going away off no internet you think when you delete it is from your and you erase your hard drive and stuff yeah it's still there it's still there on somebody's computer you know what i'm saying because they don't copied it and did whatever they wanted to do and it's just being shared and shared and shared and shared, and shared. but uh what baby blaze gonna think about her it just pause one it just gives one's paul pause to just reflect on how our parents and their careers can affect their children in a negative impact so i was just wondering you know what candy doing all this has she really did her forethought forethought uh on how this can impact her children negatively with what she's trying to build for them as she you know so eloquently quote her and todd both uh, but that's all I got for this video, guys. I just wanted to, get, you know, break it down to y'all. Let y'all know what Candyverse is up to. She's still trying to do uh, her thing with the sex stuff. And apparently it's working out for her. And she's getting to play not real roles. Because that's almost like a role right there that, um, what her name? Haley, Holly Berry had played on in Monsters Ball. Y'all remember that? She won the Oscar for that particular movie she portrayed 
was portrayed in. I'm like, my goodness, they they already Hollywood already see us as prostitutes, pimps, uh, hoes, maids, and all that stereotypic stereotyping us in that type of role, and now we're still playing it years afterward. We're still doing the same shit. But I don't know, Kana like it, I love it, and we just go on from there. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure y'all reading these comments. Let's say, say, what the hell is this? Say no to sodomites and lesbian, okay? Well, would y'all look at this? What in the world? What in the worst is going on in today's world? Okay, slowing down the reproduction of humans. So, yeah, I put those comments up uh, to let y'all know. Some people are fond of it. Some people are not. Some people are indifferent with it. Um, and, you know, it could be a, cons a, wait a, minute, a, a, a discussion that can be had in those comments. Y'all get down there. Let me know what y'all thought about Candy playing this role. Because, personally, I thought she was going to be playing a role where... They're going to be showcasing her in a good light and not so. Well, I mean, if you were lesbian, you might like this and it might be a good light. But I wanted to see her in more other roles. But it just is what it is because I don't really follow her that much. But when she does something that makes me question and wonder stuff, hey, I had to come to my family and have a conversation about it. To see and don't seem like choke no joke too much. Careful because got this off his platform. He's a uh, a YouTuber as well. He do documentaries. He's a producer uh, in production. So you know he used to work on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Go figure that one uh, when it first had come out. So he's no joke, okay? But um, I'll see y'all next video. And y'all get down in them comments and let's have a conversation. Alright, good night.